looks like Good Smile Company is really not happy with me taking advantage of their overstock situation to score myself bargain bins with FGO items. Hi and welcome back to the channel, I'm Steven. For today's video, this is both a news and also a bit of a PSA for everyone. Over a day ago, I was being brought to the attention of this post over here in Reddit. Uh, yeah, heads up, Good Smile US is no longer allowing any cancellations. Guess that one post regarding too many cancellations was leading up to this one. Not sure if this counts for anything. I already have pre-ordered, but as of today, which was just a day ago at the time of recording, it is no longer allowed both on the product listings and in the FAQ. You are no longer allowed to cancel the orders. So what if you proceed to do so? You're going to get banned, right? Yeah, most likely that is the case. Uh, the problem with anime figures nowadays, I would say this is the biggest problem of all, is that it takes an average 9 months to 1 year to get what you want after placing a pre-order. And a lot of things can happen in just 6 months, not to mention a year. Some people lose their jobs, yeah. I mean, look at big tech nowadays, right? They are laying off people right and left. So it is not like we have a choice. Sometimes we have to cancel orders as much as we don't want to. And then you scroll down to the comments section. There is one post that really stands out. This one right here by Kisuka. Dude says that I am the Good Smile Company US IT director right here. Oh, the director himself is responding to this. That is great. Okay, uh, this is important. Some clarification and breakdown of this change. Orders prior to 6th, 6th of March 2024 can still be cancelled. This policy only applies to new pre-orders. Uh, if a product is delayed due to a production delay, cancellations will be unlocked and allowed for orders placed for that product. Oh, that is interesting. The problem here is that, yeah, you need to pay attention to whatever you have pre-ordered. You need to pay attention to the release date and so on, and perhaps your email as well. The reason for this change is due to a massive increase we have seen in cancellations in 2023 and early 2024. As many of you know, figures are produced based off the pre-order numbers that distribution arms submit to the manufacturers. This is very important and we'll come back to this later. Many of these cancellations were happening within the last few months before the release of the product, so the cost producing those units were already allocated and paid. This sometimes is okay as the stock can be released into available now in stock items, but for a large majority, it causes a massive overstock that can become a challenge to sell. So this third point over here is yabai, bad news for me. Let me explain. You see, my strategy for collecting anime figures has always been geared towards the bargain hunter kind of mindset, where I wait until two or three months after release, the thing bargain beans, and then I buy it. I do that for most FGO figures, right? And last month, I think it was last month, I published a video on Fats Company's figures bargain beaning like crazy. 30,000 yen power figure going down to 10,000 yen over at Army Army sale section for a brand new figure. So now with this piece of information coming from the director of Good Smile US saying that there is overstock not because they voluntarily produced too much but because of people cancelling their pre-orders. Now it is be beginning to become really clear that Contrary to popular belief where if a character is very popular, they produce a lot of it hoping to sell more, it is more to people cancelling their pre-orders uh, being the main culprit. I'm certain they don't produce exactly the number of pre-orders they received. For example, they received 20,000 orders globally. They'll make maybe 22,000, 25,000 maximum. Yeah, I mean, they will produce a slight bit of extra, but... This is indeed really bad news for me because as a bargain bin hunter, it means that perhaps I have to be very careful with anything made by Good Smile Company at least if they are starting to cut down, clamp down on this practice of cancelling orders whenever you want. 
and limiting their production even further, then it will become a lot harder to look for bargain bins in the aftermarket later on. Yeah. And assuming that Guzman company goes for this practice and becomes very successful as a result, other companies are going to follow suit for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, figures are so expensive nowadays. I try my best to get the best pricing I can get. So this is bad news for me for sure. But I am not going to panic yet. I'm going to observe things for the next one year and see you know, how things change. So I am not going to rush out and pre-order every FGO figure I want today. No, not yet. Now, getting back to this comment over here, it is best we read all of it. Very important. Along with this change is a change to delays. This one we had to introduce due to FTC regulations. If a product is delayed once, you are given an option to cancel the pre-order. If it is cancelled a second time, we have to place the order into a countdown to auto-cancellation if you don't opt in to keep the order. When this happens, an email is sent to you with a link you can click to opt in to keeping the pre-order, keeping it. If you don't opt in, the order is automatically cancelled after 30 days. We are required to obey the law. So we had to implement this. We also can't add in any option to allow users to auto opt in as this goes against the law. If you do not like this change, please let us know by filling out a ticket at... Yeah, tickets. You can give them a feedback. I've added a new category called feedback. Feel free to give recommendations on what kind of change you would prefer. Yeah, I mean, uh, if the figure is <laughs> cancelled a second time, does he mean delayed a second time? I'm not too sure over here. You might want to check your email. Otherwise, your pre-orders might be automatically cancelled. Yes. Uh, this is bad news for those of you who don't read your emails. <laughs> Sometimes I'm guilty of it as well. So far, this is applying only to the United States. But once again, if this is being applied, this new rule over here being applied globally, regardless of whether you are pre-ordering from Good Smile Taiwan, for example, Good Smile Japan, or even Ami Ami, like you, you can't cancel anymore, then yeah, this is really yabai, really bad news for me. <laughs> so what do you think? If you buy for from Good Smile online, which I personally don't, do you agree with this new goal? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. The reason why I'm sharing this in a video is because, yeah, naturally, not every figure collector is hanging out in Reddit. And I think this is very important, not just for figure collectors in the United States, but it also sets a precedent for everywhere else in case this new goal will be applied to pretty much every branch across Good Smile Company. Yeah, this is not good for me, not good at all. And for the time being, I'm going to keep an eye on things and update you guys in case there is any major change once again. Looks like Good Smile Company is really not happy with me taking advantage of their overstock situation to score myself bargain bins with FGO items. Anyways, I'll see you guys again very soon and goodbye.